Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time you bet. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. We're approaching the uh, all star break for the NBA season, and there's plenty of positioning uh, yet to be done before we head to the playoff push in the second half. So, we're going to take a look at some games here for February the 28th. And before we do, though, we invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section here. And you see there's lots of great tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're going to get started here and we're going to scroll down to see the first matchup that we're going to look at. And here's one that could be a preview of the NBA Finals. I know it's way too early for that, but still, these are two of the top teams in the league. The Los Angeles Clippers and the Milwaukee Bucks. The Clippers enter with the second best record in the Western Conference. And the third seeded team in the Eastern Conference is the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks right now are burning hot versus average up for the Clippers. You see the Bucks have won their last three, and the Clippers are four and two over their last six. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that the Clippers have a 25 to 22 advantage, but the Bucks are quickly on the upswing. Head to head, you notice that the two teams have not met since December of 2019. If you're considering the over and under in this game, notice that the Clippers are trending in games well over the line as are the Bucks. So this is a prime example where you should bet the over. This will be a highest scoring entertaining game. And we'll see how consistent the teams have been according to their favorite and underdog status. Take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see the Clippers are at plus 12 and the Bucks are at plus 9. That, that indicates that the teams are both really stable. They're very consistently performing in that regard. So what I think is going to happen here is the Bucks are just going to be too strong and hold. It's going to be a very good game. It's going to be a tight game. But the Bucks will come away with a win. And notice that the uh, lines have not yet been posted. So take a look probably tom well, tomorrow or Saturday. Probably Saturday for the lines. And then you can uh, make your picks more accordingly. The Chicago Bulls and the Toronto Raptors. Both teams are in good position for the playoffs in the Eastern Conference. Chicago is a hotter team at the moment. Coming in at burning hot. Having won their last three and five out of their last six. While the Toronto Raptors have lost their last two after winning their previous four, and their status is now average. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see the trend here. Toronto was at plus 24, and now they are down to plus 17. While Chicago is on an upward trend, they are now up to plus 14. Head to head, you can see that the teams have not met since February of last year. If you look at the totals predictor, you can see here that. Chicago is playing in games trending under the line, and Toronto playing in games trending under the line as well. So what's that going to mean? That means that it's probably best to avoid the over-under in this one, although it's possible because they are both under, although just slightly under, that betting the under could be a prudent play. Looking at the volatility oscillator, how stable have the teams been so far this year? Yeah, both teams moderately stable at plus three, so you can take a look at their favorite underdog stats, but note that that's probably not the most important factor when betting in this one. So what do I think is going to happen? I think that Chicago eventually has to tail off. I think Toronto is going to be too good at home. I look for the Raptors to edge the Bulls in this one. Wizards and Celtics. Hawks Heat. And now here's the next one we really want to look at, the Warriors and the Lakers. The Golden State Warriors won the first meeting between the teams this year. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, they won by a 115-113 score as a road underdog. They're coming in burning hot, having won their last two. The Lakers are dead stats, having lost their last four and five out of their last six. They are really struggling. You look at the power ranking indicator, that will indicate that as well. You see the Lakers... You know, plus 28 just, what, a week and a half ago, less than two weeks ago, and now they're down to plus 20. And the Warriors are up to plus 16. If you're considering the over and under, which we always do when we take a look at the matchups, look at this here. Golden State, well under the line here. And the Lakers are a bit over the line. So what do we do in this case? Well, you might want to split the difference and say, well, let's go slightly under. 
because right because Golden State is farther under than Lakers were over. So you might say, okay, let's bet uh, the over in this one. Might be a wise choice. So you're either going to bet over or avoid the bet. I would not bet under. How consistent are the two teams? You see here the Lakers come in at plus 13. And the Warriors are at plus 8. So they're both really consistent according to their favorite underdog stats. And that will be important in this one. The Lakers will reverse the trend. They're going to be a home favorite. And they will come away with the win. Now, finally, we're going to look at the Memphis Grizzlies and the Houston Rockets. The Grizzlies are averaged down at the moment. They have lost their last two and three and three over their last six. The Rockets have dead stats. They have lost their last six. They are just in a world of heaping trouble right now. The Grizzlies are fighting for the last playoff spot, currently 10th in the Western Conference, and the Rockets are second to last. If you look at the power rankings indicator, you can see what's happening here as well. Memphis, although in a slightly downward trend, they're still at plus 17. And Houston has, has been a steady plus 2. If you take a look at the totals predictor, if you want to bet the over and under, Memphis is playing in games trending well over the line. Houston is playing in games trending under the line. So I would probably avoid the over and under. Maybe bet the over thinking that the Grizzlies are just going to completely wipe out the Rockets and up that total. Uh, score for the combined two teams. How consistent have the two teams been? You can see that both teams are at plus six at the moment, so moderately stable. What I think is going to happen is I don't think Houston has any way to win this game. They're just playing so poorly. Memphis will walk away with the win. And actually, there's still one more game we want to take a look at the Phoenix Suns and the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Suns come in average status. They have Lost their last game, but they won four out of their previous five. The Timberwolves dead status, you can see here they have lost their last six. The power rankings indicator, no surprise here that Minnesota is all the way down at the bottom at zero. And Phoenix is way up here at plus 28. The totals predictor, over for Phoenix, well over, and over for Minnesota. So that's really the only thing to really consider in this game, honestly, because it's such a big mismatch. Just Bet the over in this one. It's pretty obvious unless there's a drastic uh, change here in what's going to happen with the two teams that Phoenix will should walk away with an easy win here. They're just much better than Minnesota. And that's the way we're going to go with that. We do want to take a look at the volatility oscillator quick, and this will even confirm the point even more. Even though Phoenix is minus one, not very consistent with their favorite underdog stats, Minnesota at plus 20 among the, you know, the most consistent in the league. It's because they are the underdog most nights, and most nights they lose. That will be the case again in this one. So there you have it. Those are the games for this week. We will see you next time, and happy betting.